Hi, I'm State Representative Marcus Riccelli, and I'm actually coming to you from Olympia, from your state's capital, even though we've been in virtual session. I'm here as a member of our House Leadership team. I'm helping run our floor action today and was as well yesterday. And so it's just awesome to be down here with the cherry blossoms in bloom. And it's a really reminder how important our democracy is and how we've, with all the adversity we've faced, been able to power through and get the people's work done. One of the things I wanted to bring you up to date on is that we passed our capital budget last week and it's our major infrastructure budget. It really helps fund a lot of our public works. There's money for housing, in fact, a historic amount of dollars for housing, broadband, money for our public universities and schools. Some of the things that I've been working on, like dental infrastructure to make sure that people have access, not only to medical health care, but also dental care. It's something I've been championing. I just am really pleased to be with you today and to chat about a number of these things. Some of our local projects as well, whether it be helping Spokane Public Radio, whether it be helping Maddie's House, which will treat some of our endangered infants who are born drug addicted, really to give them the care they need. Some of the other things we're doing, like the Native Project, making sure that their youth BIPOC Behavioral Health Treatment Center can get built, Crosswalk 2.0, which helps our homeless teens. There's a lot of really important investments in our community. Things as well in higher ed, like $45 million for a new science building for Eastern Washington University. And we're also working to ensure that we move the biomedical and health science is building down at the WSU campus forward. So I'm really pleased at those investments. I'm very excited to share those with you and we'll continue to work on them so that they come out in the final budget. With that said, I also just want to say it was a rough loss, but go Zags, we got to the championship. I appreciate all the outreach and support. As many of you know, I'm a Gonzaga grad and a big Gonzaga basketball, men's and women's basketball fan. And both teams did extraordinary this year and we're very proud of them. So go Zags. Have a great day, have a great week, and I look forward to continuing to hear from you. A robust democracy can only exist with an active and engaged citizenry. Thank you for doing your part. As always, it's an honor to serve.